drive is winning good. So, uh, their meeting is done. And so, uh, Nelson put out his meeting with the Archbishop of the Greek Orthodox Arch Archdiocese of America. Uh, and so that immediately brought back memories on the corner of my mind. You saw the Tom Hanks version of it. <coughs> Big. Where, uh, uh, when I was attending the University of Utah, I uh, took all of Eva Vasilevska's Anthropology of the Ancient Middle East. And one of those classes, which was a night class, most of her, well actually all of hers were night classes. That's when she did them. I was, uh, it was, if I remember correctly, was it the one on Egyptian? I think so. But uh, anyway, uh, she actually sat next to me in class. And if uh, you know about her classes, uh, most of them, there were some where she had an actual classroom. Um, but there was some where she was in an amphitheater classroom for larger populations of students. <coughs> and uh, uh, she didn't have very many in the class. But uh, if you're wondering, well, who's Eva Vasilevska? What? What's wrong with you? Where have you been? She is the only female archaeologist and anthropologist to go into Saddam Hussein's Iraq. And he provided her with his guards. That is huge. <coughs> and so, yes, there were skirmishes in Saddam's Iraq. Most of it was cause of the CIA, who, under Poppy Bush, were sent in to violate or have the, the Kurds violate the treaty agreement with the Covenant with Saddam Hussein about uh, him leaving them alone as long as they oh, complied with the two conditions of the covenant. Don't raise up a military against me and don't train for war. And then you can have your little plot of land unmolested by him. Well, the CIA came in under Poppy Bush, just like Poppy as a CIA agent during the Chilean coup on 9-11 and he supplied them with weapons and trained them to war and Saddam Hussein found out about it oh it's not covered in the American press I wonder why so yeah the whole hang Saddam Hussein yeah they sort of set that up A little father and son revenge thing so that they can control the oil reserves to help boost their business in Texas. Anyway, I digress. And so, yeah, now we've got Al Qaeda and ICE, because it's not ISIS, that's wrong to call them ISIS, and yet everybody still calls them ISIS. But yeah, they would have never existed had we left Saddam Hussein, Hussein, Saddam Hussein alone. He did not cause 9-11. Where was the security for the building? Who was the security for the building? I don't know. Checking on Wikipedia, it used to be, a year earlier, one of the other Brother Bushes. 
that's strange. Where, who was the security during 9-11? I don't know, that's strange how they just disappeared. You know, other Jeb Bush, you know, he was the governor of Florida and just happened to cause a problem with the election in 2000 there in Florida blaming all the elderly people who have voted for decades as being incompetent to vote all of a sudden and then took it to the Supreme Court of Florida and what do you know huh the governor's brother won the election I'm sure there's no foul play but I again digress I still hear Chris Hayes talking about how it's wrong to call the whole thing a hoax. Or a conspiracy. Conspiracy is two or more people involved in a criminal operation. Doesn't mean hoax. Anyway. The uh, Greek Orthodox here in Utah have a uh, pretty good following, and uh, I really liked her. It's just you can't get involved in interfaith relations. You know, I, I can never marry a Mormon ever again. I just can't. That, oh my God. as attractive as women are I just I can't I have to be strong <laughs> and I just can't <sighs> kryptonite so no uh, yeah we had a few nights walking to the tracks and then uh, I, I, I couldn't go anywhere beyond just the class and and it got weird <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then she brought a boyfriend to class <laughs> and then she stopped coming and so yeah that was my experience with the Greek Orthodox really didn't like her. I mean, she was practically perfect, other than the religious differences. She was taking an Egyptian class to learn Egyptian. Oh my God. And Greek, I deciphered Paleo-Hebrew. Same as Greek. You know, I, I, was it this morning's sealed video that I have yet to bring out, or something else. Hmm, not sure. But I uh, did go over, oh yes, I did. It was the last video I did, talking about the sealed video that I <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Poseidon's Trident from the Greek. <laughs> and so here they're boasting and bragging, which Nelson approves this, so yes, this is Nelson boasting and bragging. Oh, I'm so popular, I'm so great. Since Russell M. Nelson, President Russell M. Nelson became leader of the church in January 2018. And how did he become leader again? What happened that you didn't reveal to us concerning a certain deathbed president who was apparently signing documents while on his deathbed? He and his colleagues, and pay attention to this, the way it's worded, he and his colleagues among the general authorities and general officers have met with many faith and government leaders. And so general officers are 70s. 70s are the ones who meet with the undesirable groups, like protesters,
and those who wish the church would change and quit being mean. But uh, there's some people missing. See, it says a list of several meetings with various groups and leaders since 2018 is below. So it does acknowledge that there are some missing meetings. No, Nelson, if you're listening, what about the meeting that Elder Holland had that Monday morning? So long ago, it seems. <laughs> Which, after that meeting with the rabbi from Israel, he uh, all got sent to the hospital. He apparently received news from your defense counsel. <laughs> oh no, what happened? What did the defense counsel present to you that would cause you to have a little episode needing to go to the hospital and then not report it for two weeks later? <laughs> what was it? <sighs> Sure, it had nothing to do with an inverted pentagram on the Salt Lake Temple now being made public to all the world. <clears throat> Assuming you've got the money to download the PDFs. Or listen to certain person's videos. <laughs> you know, so... And they don't have any of the meetings with the secret underground Russians <laughs> in destroying America. None of those are listed here. <laughs> Didn't you downgrade Uchtdorf for that assignment? Why aren't his meetings with the Russians in here? <laughs> yes. He will use this money to destroy America and give you your new Deseret. Or Deseretsky. Gotta use the Russian vernacular. Oh dear God. So, yeah. Uh, is there the Chinese? Nope. Nope, not even the Chinese representative when he called over to give them the PPE, for which they then made six billion dollars off of the coronavirus last year, for tithing alone. Of course, Vice President of the United States, uh, the one that President Trump tried to have assassinated on January 6th, that president? <laughs> Is that why you didn't name him? Because you did Cardinal Timothy Dolan. Why not? Oh, there's Rabbi Mir Uh But, uh, oh, here's First Lady of the United States. Yeah, I remember that in the news. She only met with the uh, Relief Society presidency. No men involved in that one. And so, wait a minute. Uh, general authorities, general officers, she's not among those. The church hasn't given women priesthood office. <laughs> what is this doing on here? <laughs> These guys think they're being clever, sneaking her on here. And of course they had to put the NAACP twice rather than once and having 2018 and a comma 2021. <sighs> and lest we forget the second one in 2021, all oh, that was a big fun scandal video that I got to make for that. <laughs> We're giving $10 million for black education. We're so great. We're so awesome. Then the next day, Bezos's X comes out with 2.7 billion <laughs> for like education. 
you know, the way she gives away her money, she's rubbing it in Bezos's face. She's mocking him because Bezos is a tyrant. That's why she left. You know, the whole penis rocket picture that uh, Saudi Arabia was caught having hacked his phone to obtain. You know. Yeah, why can't the Tesla guy, why couldn't he get his rocket into space? It keeps exploding. And so Bezos, he gets his turn, and the phallus is successful. <laughs> we have erected the phallus. We have gone where no man has gone before. <laughs> I'm still watching Big Bang. Did I mention that I had to interrupt Big Bang for this? <sighs> God. So yeah, it means nothing. Oh, but Travis, it's fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> oh, oh, we want to talk fulfilling prophecy, do we, Elder or President Nelson, <laughs> President of the Missionaries, <laughs> and not President of the whole Church? You want to talk prophecy, do you? I recommend Deuteronomy, chapter eighteen. <laughs> and if you need some help with a modern day context, section 85, verse 7 and 8. <laughs> uh, fun, fun. So there, there's more than you wanted to know, isn't there? 